I'm Suzanne Hagen and I'm a Professor of Health Services Research at the Nursing Midwifery and Allied Health Professions Research Unit at Glasgow Caledonian University in Scotland. And I am Deputy Director of the unit there where we undertake a wide variety of different types of research but we've got a programme that looks specifically at pelvic health and um, ways that we can improve interventions for people who experience problems with their pelvic health. My area of interest is the conservative management of pelvic um, dysfunction. So I'm interested in conservative management of prolapse, of urinary incontinence, of um, also bowel problems like constipation. I'm here at the National Conference on Incontinence to speak about a number of different projects that we've been involved in across a range of different uh, patient populations. So I've been talking about pelvic organ prolapse, a common female condition and how we might prevent that or treat that with pelvic floor muscle exercises. Um, I've been speaking about the problem of overactive bladder and um, the novel use of tibial nerve stimulation as an intervention to help patients who experience overactive bladder. Um, I've spoken about constipation and how abdominal massage is a potential um, intervention that might be helpful for people with multiple sclerosis who experience that very common problem of constipation. I think the real challenges in this, in this field of research are the, um, the issues we're going to face with the ageing population and the increase in prevalence and all the, the problems that um, uh, we're interested in. So um, problems in the male and the female populations of incontinence, of pelvic floor dysfunction, of bowel disruption, um, these are all on the increase and we need um, alternative treatments with good evidence base so that we can offer options to these people to help improve their quality of life. In my line of work um, it's very important that our research is, is relevant to patients and we're asking the right questions and we're, we're able to produce results that are meaningful to patients. So from our point of view we have to involve the public and patients in our research and that's the key issue for us. Um, it's not uh, an easy thing to do but we very much strive to have patients involved in all aspects of our research from um, designing research studies through to implementation because by co-constructing our projects and taking patients and public along with us and having their advice and guidance throughout then this is going to give us a, a project and a, an outcome that's going to be far more um, relevant to people and going to be implementable in, within the health service and more likely going to affect patients' health.